Street Fighter VI is out, and compared to previous franchise entries, it seems as though Capcom has given us every single thing we could have ever wanted. The surplus of bells and whistles has contributed in no small way to the unprecedented positive momentum the game has seen in its first few days after release. But this wealth of options does seem a bit of a double-edged sword when it comes to one particular aspect of SF6, navigating its menus. Load up the game and you're immediately greeted by three menus. Pick one of those and you can get five more drop-down menus, but press R and you'll get this battle settings menu that has four more menus in it. But I'm not done yet! Press tab and you'll get the multi-menu, which has another 12 options to select from. Yes, it's menuception. So this can definitely feel overwhelming when you just want to figure out how to get to your friends list or change up your controls or maybe enter into a casual room to make good on an invite from a buddy. We'll run you through some of the most basic and necessary processes in the SF6 menu so you don't have to spend tons of time trying to figure out where they are. Timestamps in the description below if you'd like to jump around and if you find this video helpful or entertaining please give it a like and our channel a subscribe. Probably the first thing you're going to want to know how to do is set up your character so that when an online battle comes, you're using the fighter you want as well as the control scheme you want. This is all done via the battle settings menu, and you can get here whether you're in fighting ground or in a battle hub server. Press the battle settings button, which is R on PC, and you can set up the particulars of how you want the fight to go down. Select character and you'll see the roster. Everyone starts on modern controls and the standard button preset, but you can change that on a per character basis. Hover over the character of choice and press the update character settings button, which is T on PC. Now you can choose how your character will look when you fight online, as well as the control settings. Note that you can apply control type to all characters if you want to quickly change everyone to classic. Now, when you're ready to enter into an online ranked or casual match, which you can also turn on the search for in the battle settings menu, it'll be with the correct character and controls. There are just a few other options you might want to manipulate before diving into battle. If you click the other tab, you can choose which stage you prefer to fight on when you go online. If you'd like to have all stages in the mix, you can click T if you're on PC or whatever button pops up here on your console and have them all selected. You can also choose whether you want random background music, the character that you're playing, your opponent characters, or the stage theme. You can turn commentary on or off, and you can choose which side you'd prefer to be on, but you won't always necessarily get this depending on what your opponent's preferences are. Finally, you can go over to Fighter Profile and change things like your background, the comments that your character will display when you're duking it out, and your avatar pose. None of this really affects the direct battle, but it's very important for intimidation factor. Next up, if you have friends, you'll want to connect with them in the game so you can easily contact and meet up to duke it out with them whenever you're both online. There are two ways to get to the friends menu where you can send or accept requests. The most standard way is to pull up your multi-menu whether you're in fighting ground or a battle hub server. Select CFN and then players. Here you'll see the status of any friends you've made, but if you're looking to make new ones, head over to the search tab. You can try applying a bunch of filters to whittle things down, but you're most likely going to want to look using your buddy's name, which you can do by going to the keyword search and simply typing in their moniker. Any friend request sent will appear under the request tab, and if anyone sends you a request, this is where you'll go to accept it. There's also a shortcut from the main menu here that you can use to bypass going through that multi-menu and CFN menu step and go straight to your players list. You'll see the shortcut button right here and pressing it takes you right to where we were. Okay, so hypothetically you've got some friends and they're online and they send you an invite to join their custom room. You get a little notification saying the invite has been sent, but you still have to find your way to accept it and actually enter the room. You can get there from either Fighting Ground or Battle Hub, but the process is a tad different for each. If you're in Fighting Ground, simply head all the way to the right to the Online tab, and three spots down you'll find the Custom Room option. Use that menu to open up the next menu, where you can either search for your friend's room or view the invitation they sent you and zip right in. If you're in Battle Hub, you can quickly access the same area by opening up the multi-menu as you'll find that the custom room option, which is normally grayed out, is actually accessible here. So wait, 
there are custom rooms where we can play casual matches, but then there are also these arcade cabinets where we can play casual matches, and then there's also a search for casual matches? Yes. Playing custom matches using the arcade cabinets in Battle Hub is a much more public experience where other users can get in on the action simply by getting in line at your station. The custom rooms are more for if you want to run long, uninterrupted sets with one or a few friends, and simply turning on a casual match search will cause the game to match you up with someone else who is doing the same without having to have your avatars be physically or, or virtually or virtually physically next to each other. Another aspect of Street Fighter VI that might be a little confusing at first is purchasing things. There are technically two different shops, at both of which you can spend two different forms of currency. The first we'll talk about is simply called The Shop, which you'll access through the old multi-menu. Here you can spend drive tickets or fighter coins on secondary costumes, additional colors for your character's standard costume, stickers for your heads-up display, and emotes for your avatar. You obtain fighter coins by purchasing them with real money, and they're offered in bundles ranging from 250 for 5 bucks all the way up to 2750 for 50 bucks plus tax. Unless of course you're in a cool state like Nevada or Montana that doesn't charge sales tax. You get drive tickets by purchasing the deluxe or ultimate editions of the game, as well as by completing some of the revolving challenges that get updated every so often. If you're planning on grinding drive tickets via challenges, just know it looks like it's going to take months to get anywhere. Next is the Hub Goods Shop, which you'll find in the Battle Hub, though there is also an option for it in the shop menu that we just talked about. This shop is entirely devoted to decking out your Battle Hub avatar. If you want purple socks, or a weird crown, or glasses so that everyone knows your avatar is smart, this is where you'll get all that. These items aren't just for the visual aesthetic either, as different accessories can give different buffs to your avatar should you choose to want to take it directly into battle. You can do that by heading to the very center of any Battle Hub server and following the prompts to engage with the others who are also in the area. So there is definitely more to the menus here, but we've hit most of the basics you'll likely be wondering how to do as you get used to the game. A bit of exploration and time with this elaborate interface will surely demystify it further, and you'll soon be zipping through menus, hubs, and game modes at lightning speed, as once you know how to traverse it all, this really is set up to give users tons of freedom and expediency. As you may have noticed, there's actually a ton of menu overlap for the sake of convenience as you can get to a lot of the same options from various modes and situations. So when you think about it, there really aren't quite as many overwhelming options at first glance would make it seem. We've got plenty of other Street Fighter VI content on this channel, so whether you're looking for gameplay discussion, combo trials, character storylines, or theory fighting, you can find it all here on this one hub. 10 points. I've been John Velociraptor Guerrero for Event Hubs. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next menu.